Brandon Ayuk. Dynasty Data Lab, AD, startup ADP, had him at wide receiver 14. Keep trade cut, had him at wide receiver 15. In 2023, he was wide receiver 13 and a half PPR points per game with 13.2, the best of his career. He was uh, among wide receivers. He was third in yards per out run while having an eight out of 14.3, which is pretty difficult to do because those are hard passes to complete, which goes to show just how talented Brandon Ayuk is. Currently looking for a new contract. Uh, starting to say they don't want him. You know, we saw that everyone saw that little video of him saying that. And where does this put us with Brandon Ayuk, Ryan? Because, like, I really like the player. I think this price is appropriate. Whatever happens with the contract, I think things will get figured out, whether he remains with the 49ers, which I think is the most likely thing. They're in a Super Bowl window. They want to keep him, right? And then getting traded. But, like, how do you trade for a player like that that you really like that's high up in the rankings? The way I look at it is I see some players in the general tier, and if I can move off of one of them to him while getting a bonus on top, I could do something like that. Like, I see Chris Olave, Drake London, both players I really like, but I think are in the same tier as Brandon Ayuk. I don't mind, you know, moving around that way, but he's not a player I'm, like, necessarily trying to spend up to go get. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, so I think the first thing you want to do with Brandon Ayuk is you don't want to look at him and say, okay, I bet like 49ers, low pass volume, right? I'm sure he's going to go somewhere better if he get, ends up getting traded. Th there are not that many spots in the NFL that are better for wide receiver production than the 49ers right now. Despite the low pass volume, Kyle Shanahan, the way that he draws up all these deep crossers, it, it's unbelievable what he and what really his whole coaching tree can do for wide receiver efficiency i look at like the leaderboard and yards per out run last year it's all the shanahan style <laughs> receivers it it's quite comical uh so what i would say with Ayuk is you have to price in the i would agree the most likely thing is he probably remains with the 49ers but you also have to price in all of the other 31 teams that he could potentially end up with and however you balance that is where you need to value him. And I, kind of luckily for us, I think one of the easier ways to do this, even without getting that involved, is just to look down the board a couple rounds. T. Higgins has all of the same theoretical concerns of, oh, maybe he ends up on a different team, right? But he's a year younger. He projects fairly similarly this year, has similar career production or arguably better peak career production to Ayuk so far, but he's going two rounds later. And I kind of don't understand that. It, so I would be the guy trading down from Brandon Ayuk to someone like a T Higgins right now. I just, yeah, I just haven't seen it from Brandon Ayuk. I think he's an incredible real life player. Like all, all of his advanced metrics in terms of beating man coverage and everything is super great. I think he's an amazing route runner. I think he's an amazing receiver, but just hit the overwhelming likelihood of him staying at a relatively cap ceiling in San Francisco and not wanting to go out and gamble on, he's just going to sign a second contract with insert my favorite landing spot. I just want to trade down and I'll take the value from Ayuk and because I don't think he gives you irreplaceable production that you can't replicate even further down like the startup value board. I'm kind of digging that that tier down option you laid out. And I definitely agree about if he does get traded, like there's way more worse options than there are good ones for uh, Brian Ayuk. I think it's people really underestimate what Shanahan can do for the passing game in addition to what he does for the running game. Um, Skyler, what do we think? It's really hard to disagree with anything Ryan said there. I love a good tear down. Um, and, and T Higgins is one of the ideal guys to go to right now. If you want to get a little bit more risky, you're not talking the age or a, uh, a win now type team. I mean, Devonte Adams is still, and Mike Evans are still two guys that would be ideal pivots if you were trying to get the production now that you feel confident about but also bank some capital to use in the future you could probably get Devonte adams and a first round pick for brand you and maybe something alongside brand Ayuk that's relatively small and i i like that deal i will say though brand as a player i do love brand Ayuk. i love having brand on my teams i'm not like itching to trade brand Ayuk. i'd have to have a trade that really makes sense you're either pushing those two first or we have a good tier down option to that t higgins or that Devonte Adams type deal on the table. One thing I do like with Brandon Ayuk, if he's not my wide receiver one, is I do think there's some stability in there. We do see peaks and valleys in a little bit, but this is a guy who has led 
the 49ers in target share three out of the last four years. Now he's not screaming, you know, 25 plus percent like we like for our target hogs. It is a little bit lower, your low twenties, but I think there's something to be said about that where anyone goes down, he's the first guy to get that kind of a bump. And we saw it in the back half of last year when he really was just consistent. He was getting you, you know, low double digits every single week. And, you know, it just takes one play over the top for, you know, him to really make a difference. Uh, that's what we love about our Niners. That's what, like we talked about George Kittle last recording we did, where even if it does turn out where he is in low volume with, with just how, you know, the, the average depth of target yards after catch, just how, efficient this offense is the touchdown opportunity there is more to it than just the raw target share um you know and there is always the opportunity if he were to go somewhere else it it could elevate we could see him because he is a very good route runner but but ryan is correct it is also a fallacy there to just assume we have this uber talented wide receiver if he goes to another team we're gonna have a stefan days explosion could it happen absolutely or would it be wise to project that probably not but um, I like the options you said. I like tearing down here. It's tough for me to buy any wide receiver once you approach that wide receiver one price tag if you're not one of those guys we think legitimately could be in tier 1A. And if you think Brandon Ayuk could be in tier 1A with CeeDee Lamb and Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase, Amon Ross St. Brown, etc., then maybe this doesn't apply to you. But I think that once we get past that group, maybe from wide receiver 7, 8, all the way to wide receiver I'm saying maybe 2025, 20, that whole group is where we see the most movement year to year. So I typically just in that whole group of wide receivers, I hate being really aggressive at the top end of that because it could just completely flip going into next year. And it wouldn't surprise me at all. Guys like Zay Flower, Jack Smith and Jigba, DJ Moore, who are past wide receiver 20, they could be at wide receiver 13 going into next year. And it would surprise absolutely none of us. Okay, Ryan. So, we know that you like tearing down from Brand Ayuk, but I want to know if you were going to be going out and looking to buy Brand Ayuk, what's the actual price you'd be wanting to pay there? Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> I, it's hard. Sorry, hard to just gotta put myself in the shoes of I'm buying yes. Brandon Ayuk right now. Okay, Whew. Uh, yeah, I mean, I kind of like we've alluded to. I think you don't want to be paying like this is a high-end wide receiver too he's like very clearly above kind of the blob of all the t higgins and the zay flowers and all like all of those wide receivers i think ideally you're getting that price when you're buying mm -hmm. Ayuk. you're never getting that price right now though at least not while we all have this collective delusion that he's gonna go to a better landing spot right so yeah it it's really hard for me it would yeah it would be like the a base first ish yeah but yeah i mean that... like the, the, the like non-answer is technically an answer though right so you're basically saying like at the current price no yeah. <laughs> like, like it has to come down for me to be willing to to actually go out and buy I, brandon Ayuk. i think you have to have the delusion on some other wide receiver on your team already to a manager in your league like if you are buying it'd be the kind of thing where they view drake london's going to absolutely explode they value him much more, you know, and they'll give you brand now you can a second round pick for Drake London. Like as Wyatt said, in my opinion, they're more close to equals, whether you prefer one or the other. So if a manager is, you know, preferring Drake London, I mean, you can stay within what we consider the same tier, pick up that extra value. Or maybe it's a player like Roma Dunze or Nico Collins where managers are just ready to jump the gun. You know, they have their opinions and brand you is maybe a little old to them now it's a little boring and you can you can make that pivot because if nico collins gets me um brand Ayuk, i'm probably making that trade and sometimes people at this point of the year just want to call their shot and they're willing to make those one for one switches and there's reason for it i mean i could be completely wrong that maybe nico collins jumps brand Ayuk this time next year but right now that that's a type of deal that i would also make I'll, I'll note just real quick that Nico Collins is wide receiver 16 on Dynasty Data Lab, right, two spots behind Ayuk. Like, I think that is a actual conversation in the market currently just between those two. All right. Yeah. I mean, if you get if you tell me whichever one I'm getting a plus on, I'll I'll take the guy I get the plus with between those two. I agree. I view I view them pretty similarly, both kind both 
receivers that have been really efficient in Shanahan style offenses. Collins, maybe you argue there's a little more stability. Ayuk, a little more of a productive track record. So yeah, I, I would echo that with wherever you're getting the plus there. I'm happy to take the second round pick or whatever. Yeah. All right. Let's move down the tiers now a little bit to our next wide receiver of the day. And that's